A reminder to all agents, inter-office romances are permitted but must be reported. Granted, we are well aware of them. We just want to hear you say it. Agent Hawthorne, if you could, act naturally and report to observation. You look tired, Leslie. Yeah, it's been nuts lately. I haven't been this busy since we faked the moon landing. Wait, we faked the moon landing? No, we faked a fake moon landing. You know, just to mess with people. But the first one was real. Yeah, how do you think we met the lizard men? Oh, yeah. Data collection? No, we don't have Prince Albert McKean. Tom, I know it's you. Hey, you guys going to lunch soon? Yeah. You know, we should invite the new guy. We should. I can't remember his name, though. I can't either. I haven't met him yet. I think it was Chris. No. Something like Chris. Craig, Kyle, Crinkle. Kevin, Comfy, Quicksilver, Condoleezza, Con uh, uh, Quail Egg. Yeah. Go say, hey, Quail Egg, want to go to lunch? Corky, Condiment? Christmas. How about just walking over and saying, hey, I'm Warren. I'm sorry, but I can't remember your name. Can you say Christmas, but sort of mutter it so he thinks you said his name? Sure. And if it's wrong, I'll just tell him Brian said that was his name. Right. Hey, Chris Deminen, and I hate you guys. Why does Susan always post these flyers for Agency Girls Night? Does anyone ever go to them? Um, yeah, I went once. It was just me and Susan in a Nicholas Sparks movie marathon. No. What a nightmare. How many movies did you have to- I don't want to talk about it. No, tell me! I don't want to talk about it. All agents. Please don't give Agent 13 doggy treats without making him roll over or speak. You'll spoil him. Hey, did we ever get those results about whether cult members like chunky or smooth peanut butter? No, all of our field agents keep getting discovered and converted. Ugh, I'm just gonna say chunky then. We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. Okay. And what about the other one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you swallow and the other? Um, maybe you should go see our doctor. To the owner of the invisible car in parking lot C, you have been rear-ended. Reminder to all agents, the company picnic is this Friday. The time and location details are encrypted into algorithms piggybacking on spam emails from a server promoting hair loss therapy. We still need sporks. To all agents, when you return a jetpack, please make sure it's refueled. Thank you.
Okay, truth or dare? Uh, truth. What is your favorite called eavesdrop? Oh, that's easy. Relationship fights. The more emotional and heart-wrenching, the better. Interesting. You up for one more? Come on. Yeah, sure. What the heck? I'll, I'll try dare this time. Perfect. For the next 72 hours, I dare you to not listen to conversations I have with my wife. Has it been really obvious? We can hear you breathing on the phone. I'm sorry, man. I should have used a secure wiretap. I don't see why they can't get something in my size. It's ridiculous. If they're going to ask you to gather farm data in a giant rubber horse suit, they could at least get you an extra large. I just look so stupid right now. So I find out my wife is an agent. And you had no idea? No, I was sent to spy on her. Whoa. And you have kids, right? Yeah, turns out they're agents. Wow. Four incomes. Yeah, that is pretty nice. I heard we have a new French agent starting today. Oh, hey, I think that may be him. Hi there. Are you the new French agent? Oui, moi, je viens juste d'arriver. Je veux juste chercher les euh, ressources humaines. Mais avant, il faut que je trouve un, un bon café et quelques croissants. Tu pourrais m'indiquer où c'est? Quand est-ce qu'on part pour le déjeuner? J'ai que deux heures, alors il faut que j'en profite. Et la pizza, c'est bien, mais ils sont où les couteaux et les fourchettes? Oh, les donc, qu'est-ce qu'il fait froid dans ce bureau? Comment ils font pour garder? C'est un frigo? Uh, yeah, I did not catch any of that. Did he say he was French or not? How did you pass the entrance exam? Oh, I didn't take it. My dad's the director. That checks out. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? Come on! that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. Foolish humans. Whoa, what the... What does that mean? Oh, that's right, you're new here. Ah, it's just a nuclear event drill. We have them every month or so. Where where do we go? Ah, down to the bunker. What are you doing? Three, is is two, that scuba gear? One. Ah, kind of. Hey, want to see your government in action? Of course not. But the great thing about the petabytes of info we've collected on each and every one of you, we can use that data to play a game. Come on, you don't even have to catch a ball or nothing. Let's play... <laughs> Espionage. Let's have some analytical fun. First up. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people have been victims of whoopee cushion pranks? Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. We have an answer, 25%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 
percent. Moving on. Okay, gotta admit, that was good. Who said higher? Here's some points. Next up. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people have worked on farms for at least one day? Fifteen percent. Okay, higher or lower? It's unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. 41%! And no, working at a food co-op in Brooklyn doesn't count. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Who's next? Let's see, what would be good? How about this? If forced to choose, what percentage of people would prefer office chairs with reclining seatbacks over those with wheels? Seventy-two percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? And the correct answer is... 48%! Either way, we're talking about lazy people. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Let's see who's in the lead after round one. Full assurance. Not bad, but things are a little different in round two. I'll explain as we go. Let's start with you. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have urinated in bottles to avoid stopping during road trips? Okay, we have a guess. 40%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 15% or more. If you're correct, you're mama's little angel. You get double the points. Unanimously higher. And Surveil says... 29%. Bit of advice, do not try this with a lemonade bottle. I learned that lesson the hard way. Is this thing broken? No, you were all just wrong. Okay, who's up next? Did you know if you say beer can, it sounds like you're saying bacon in a Jamaican accent? What percentage of beer drinkers prefer macro brews to microbrewery beer? 50%. Okay, higher or lower? <laughs> Running out of time. Half and half. And Surveil says... 18%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. You got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people can recite their social security numbers from memory?
82%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Everyone is saying lower, and the correct answer is... 91%! Guess that's something to be proud of. No one? No one got it right? Lame. It's time for the final round. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. When people eat cheese and crackers, what kind of cheese do they most often use? Let's see what people think. But only the top three answers will get you points. Good luck! you chose okay computer show us the most popular answers and the winner is You played this game like 87% people wish they could, and only 21% of them could ever hope to. Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. You may recognize my voice from the depths of your most enigmatic dreams. And I also did an iced tea commercial. I have brought you all here to T-Shirt Island to battle for shirt supremacy. 
and to listen to a very brief timeshare pitch, but we'll get to that later. Every epic tale starts somewhere. Yours begins here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. Draw whatever your heart desires, like literally anything, it doesn't matter. But if you need an idea, hit the suggestion button. Get your drawing fingers wiggling, it's time to draw. Make haste before time runs out. Not bad, but let's see a little variety this time. You can change your line thickness with that little button, you know. On to drawing number two. Last drawing, let's get weird with it. Begin. Yes, I think we can work with these. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something short and snappy like you might see on a t-shirt. And don't forget that suggestion button if you're stumped. Go!
Well, I know that's not your best material. Write another. Time is about to expire. You may want to finish up. Oh, yes. This is going to be good. Training complete. Now take a look at your device. You have a series of drawings and slogans at your disposal. Choose one of each to make the best t-shirt champion that you can. Don't phone it in. Oh, very clever. I hope you're ready. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet 1 versus Fight. And by fight, I mean enter your votes on your device. Versus I think we could all use a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Make me proud. Go! Now right. The second gauntlet looms, and the hairy paws of Kismet have shuffled your drawings and slogans. 
forge a new t-shirt champion. about that, hmm? Well, we'll see. Gauntlet 2. Versus... Battle! A new challenger appears. Fight! Winners! The final gauntlet is here, and only the best shirts from the previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Versus... Fight! Fight each other. We have a champion. There's something I'd be proud to cover my torso with.
Hello, I'm Schmitty, and I hope to meet or exceed your expectations. I think we've got just enough people to do the wave, but let's not. Here's round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, moment of truth. Number one on the list. In your job, you don't need a bulletproof vest. You need a blankproof vest. Okay, choose your favorite. Coming up next, the advice a couples therapist would give to Captain America and Bucky. Get to voting! Next up, if the Pied Piper really wanted to impress us, he'd get blank to follow him. Vote on your devices. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Round two is here, so let's double the points and bonuses, shall we? Clock's running out. Let's see what we got. Up first, a line in the Canadian National Anthem, probably. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite.
next prompt. A warning that should come with spray-on cheese. Load away. Next on the list, a good sign your mechanic is ripping you off is that he says you need a new blank. Okay, vote. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. This is round three, the last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Finish writing this comic. Everybody's in. In this round, you award a shiny gold medal to your favorite quip. Choose wisely. Brace yourselves, here come those medals. Now let's turn those medals into points. It's over. Let's see the final scores.